Hello guys, hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Anil Dhawan from Analytics Training Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download MySQL Workbench and Server on your laptop. So to begin with, I'm just going to jump onto Google. Here I just come and I write the three keywords MySQL Workbench download in the search bar. And then we are going to see these search results are coming. You can ignore the first link here. Then just go to the second link. Hold the control tab, click on that. It opens the link into the new tab. Here you go. You can click on the download section here. So I go to download section. Then you just go down, scroll down. And here you can just look for this option called my SQL community GPL downloads. Here I go, click on this. It takes me to the products that I can download from the My SQL website. Here I am going to skip all of these and look for only community server. So I click on My SQL community server link and then it takes me to this page where I am shown these setups that I can download, but I'm going to ignore them since I don't want to download the MySQL community server directly from here, but through the installer. So I just look for this option, go to download page, and I just click on this. It takes me to another page, another download section, where it shows me these two set of files. The first one, window x86 32-bit MSI installer. Okay, this I can ignore since the setup is here. Okay, the community setup. This is for web community installer. Okay, and this is for a uh, proper installer community server that you have here. Installer community you have here. So I'm just going to click on download. Make sure the file size is 5428 MB. And then it takes us to the new page. On the new page, you are going to see the information to log in now or sign up for a free account. Well, we don't need any email account to log in or sign up here. So we can simply ignore both these options, skip these options, and click on this no thanks to start my download. The moment you uh, click on this, it begins with the download. I, I have already downloaded. I have already downloaded my setup. Okay. So instead of waiting and downloading it again, I just come here. Here, here we go. I just downloaded a few minutes back. And after the download is finished, what you need to do, you just need to do double click on the setup file. You can also click on this setup. Once it downloaded here, you can just click on this and it is going to show you something similar window. Let's wait. It is configuring. Okay, then we are going to get window uh, confirmation here. Okay, authentication it requires. So it says, do you want to allow this AI app to make changes to your device? And then just click on yes. The moment you click on yes, it starts downloading the products. Again, I see another option coming here. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? I say yes. And then it is going to begin with installer. And here I'm going to get this window. Remember, if you're downloading it, if you're downloading it for the very first time, then you're going to see this blue screen window coming up. Else you would see the options to repair your products. Well, I want to download the default developer products. Okay. So I go with developer default and then click on next. In the next step, it is going to check the requirement for the system. Okay. So the volume products have failing requirements. So it needs these products to be downloaded here. So MySQL installer will attempt to resolve them automatically. So here we go. So through installer, the best part is it is going to check all the components that are required to run MySQL Workbench and MySQL Server without any problem. If you directly download Workbench, right, you'll have to download MySQL Server separately. So here we go. We click on next option and then it gives us this warning saying that one or more product requirements have not been satisfied. So this is usually going to come. You have to just ignore, okay, and say, do you want to continue? Yes. And in the next step, okay, you see that I am not shown now those steps to install MySQL Workbench and Server. Anyways, no problem. We are going to repair. So in certain cases, you would notice that 
you are not seeing server mysql workbench and other components are uh, ready to install no problem we can do it later on also but in case if you're seeing them then it's a good thing i just go click on this execute button it is going to install once it is done then i just go to next and then it says that it is ready to configure okay fine and it says that no compatible server so far so remember like when we were installing these steps okay when we were going through these steps it did not show us the mysql workbench and install mysql server because the server is not there because the mysql workbench is not there how come these sample and documentation files would be running there okay so no problem we can just simply ignore so this is very usual in certain especially in today's machines this error comes so we can just simply cancel this setup okay now i was telling you that if you're downloading it for the very first time remember okay now i'm on the same stage where i made the first attempt but i failed okay not to worry i am going to double click on this installer once again get this option here i go you see that i am seeing only two products that have been installed on my machine but i don't see mysql workbench i don't see mysql server i don't see uh, other products okay so what i need to do i need to just click on add here and when i click on add then i'm going to see this window Usually this window comes in the uh, first attempt when I made it, it should have come then only, but it's okay if it was not coming in the first attempt, you can just try it uh, again in the second attempt. Make sure when you are seeing this, this particular dialog box, you are expanding each of the product here, going with the first one, since I tried downloading the 8.0.33, okay? So I just click on the 8.033 and then do click on this green arrow, then, Minimize this, okay. Again, I go to the next one, applications. I go to MySQL Workbench. I want MySQL Workbench also to be installed, okay. I just add this to the product to be installed list. Then I go to MySQL Shell. So Shell, you can download, you can ignore, okay. So through Shell also, you can do scripting. And then I'm also going to require router here, a supportive component. component. And then I just go for connectors. In connectors, you're going to find ODBC 8.0.33. Okay, not getting into details. So I hope I have downloaded the 64 bit. Yeah, because we can see here, if you pay attention, we have got 32 bit. So x86 uh, represent for 32 bit system. Okay, here I go for ODBC. Uh, yeah, 8.0 is already done. So no need to uh, go for 5.3. One thing, guys, make sure you are downloading 8.0.33 products from all these categories okay moving to the next one 8.033 64 bit okay so connector c plus plus has been added here then i go to connector j uh this is also available that's nice in certain cases certain machines you are not going to find this connector j is available nor even dot net okay so dot net usually does not come along with the new machines okay python is not available no problem we can just ignore this so all products here are done from the connectors okay category and then we move on to documentation so documentation though it has already been downloaded which is why uh, it's not available here see uh, it says another version 8.0.3 of this package is already installed so once if it is installed already you're not going to find this again to be added here for the installation so now i have added all the required products that need to be installed on this machine i'm just going clicking on next it is going to install all of them one by one okay so i just say execute you can check the status here it is downloading so server download has been completed by 50 percent we'll have to wait for a few seconds here for this to complete the installation so uh when it is going to jump on uh during the server i mean uh, sorry my bad so at the time of like you know server installation you might see this pop-up is coming so it's okay if you are getting this pop-up it means that your system is not having c++ uh, 2015 to 2019 redistributable okay so you can just install this make sure that you are clicking or checking this checkbox install after you are done with the installation here of this microsoft visual c++ click on close and then you notice that installation for all these products are done here okay completed we move on to the next step then it asks us the following product will be downloaded here the connector.net no problem let's go ahead let's download it is downloaded 
moving to the next so it is all about like next execute next execute okay we don't have to do anything extra here we'll have to wait here now all of these products are getting installed on this machine on my laptop while installing the router it may take some time so we'll have to wait for a few seconds but it's worth of waiting because you are getting the idea that what all needs to be installed so in latest machines in latest laptops that you buy you are going to find that usually dotnet is not available by default of course okay more connectors may not be available c c plus plus will not be available so if you want to avoid you can download it beforehand but as we are going through this installer we don't have to worry because if it is missing out something it is immediately going to tell us that what is missing and how can we repair it Shell is taking time, as mentioned. All right, let's wait. We'll wait for a few more seconds. So, Shell is completed router is completed now odbc completed c plus plus j and connected .NET is also completed we move on to the next now it is ready to configure the server and the router so let's go and click on next again we don't have to change any setting make sure the by default port number uh, whatever is entered here let it enter okay let it be there so 3306 is default port for mysql workbench to listen uh, and connect to the server okay then next, use strong password uh, in crypto authentication, fine. So we go to the next step, and there we are required to enter the password. Now, this password, you make sure you make a note of it somewhere, as you don't forget later on, so because when you are going to open MySQL Workbench at the time of creating connections, you will have to provide this password. So make sure you make a note of this password. So I'm going to enter this password here. Okay. It tells you whether the password is strong enough or like, you know, weak or medium. But uh, you, since this server is running on your system, nobody else will have access to the system other than you. So it's okay. You can go ahead with any password. But in case if you're working on shared machine, it is better to always set up a strong password. Now, we don't have to add any user here. Simply we click on next. And then again, next, again, next. And again, we are going to click on uh, execute this time. Not next, but execute because after executing, we are going to get the option of finish or next, I guess. So it is writing configuring file and then yeah, all done. Okay, so server installation is done very good you can see all message also the configuration of the mysql server 8.0.33 was successful we finish this and then uh, you can see the message status saying configuration completed for server okay again server and now we are going to configure the router so again we don't have to change anything here we just finish and the uh, router says configuration not needed okay we can skip next and then we are done now all done okay all products are installed and the moment the installation is done you are going to find first this shell okay this shell window is popping up the black screen and then right after that few after few seconds you would see this welcome to mysql workbench okay mysql workbench interfaces g uh like soft application is getting open so when you expand this okay you're going to find this local instance so by default uh one connection is already uh, there for you so we have to now test whether the uh, installation happened correctly or not and how can we test that just by clicking on the local local instance we just go and we get this message where we have to enter the password so remember the password that we set it up 
while installing the server, the same password we have to enter it here. In case if you wish to save this password into Vault, you can save it, but I advise you not to do it because if you keep on entering the password again and again, you are going to remember that. Okay, but if you save it somewhere, higher chances are that you may forget. And uh, sometimes if the MySQL uh, server needs to reconnect, okay, or restart, then you will be required to enter the password. And in case if you're not able to enter the password correctly, you will have to reconfigure the server company. Entire server, you'll have to reconfigure. So I'm clicking on OK just to check whether uh, I'm uh, like, you know, whether we have got the installation done correctly or not. Okay, installation happened correctly or not. And the moment we just uh, connected with the, or we entered into the instance, okay, we can see this interface. We are going to just jump onto the section called schema. Notice here, I just click on schema and I find that here only SYS is coming. Logically, we should be seeing here three default schemas, Sakila, World and SYS. Since we tried this installation, okay, twice, okay, we made two attempts. In the first attempt, we tried downloading sample documents, okay, so at the time, sample and documentation was not installed properly not a problem we can just close this we can close this also and do you see this again sample and examples we are seeing this reconfigure message okay so in case if you have closed this window not a problem you can do you can go on the setup file that you have downloaded from the website and do double click once again you're going to get a window authentication message just click on yes and then you're going to see the same window coming in front of you okay and I'm just going to say, okay, sample and examples need to be reconfigured. Here it asked me to enter the password. Then same password because initially the server was not installed. So now I'm going to uh, enter the password here. After entering the password, I have to click on check. And if the password, entered password is corrected, then it is going to show you here connection succeeded. And then we go to next, execute the step. And then after we are done, it says finish. And uh, now what we can do? In order to open another, uh, uh, so after, you know, after installation is done, sometimes people uh, wonders like, or sometimes users like, you know, struggle to open MySQL Workbench also. Okay, so uh, see, it will not be opening it, or it will not get opened every time uh, by itself. Okay, so you have to go to your program list. You have to look for MySQL Workbench. Okay, Workbench 8.0 uh, CE. You are going to see. And then you can just pin this to a taskbar also so that it, it appears always, the icon appears always there. And then you can just one click and then have, okay, I have added, it seems I added MySQL Workbench. Okay, yeah, my bad. Sorry, SQL, uh, shell I have added, not, uh, okay, I just go to this MySQL Workbench and I say add this, okay, to the taskbar and I move to shell. And I say I don't want shell actually. Unpin from taskbar. Okay, here uh, it still shows. Okay, I then go click on this MySQL workbench and see. Now, even if I look uh, close this, I have this pinned up on my taskbar. I just click once, and then it is going to open. And I just go to local instance. I enter the password once again, and it takes me uh, and shows me the schemas. And there we go. We can see now circular. We can see SYS and we can see what. Under Sakila, you can go to tables and you can find all these tables. Under SYS, you can find the system configuration tables. Okay. And uh, under world database, world schema, we can find these three tables. So once this is done, we are all set. Now your learning is going to begin. Okay. See you there. An SQL program. That's all about the MySQL workbench and MySQL server installation. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to our channel to get updates about regular training programs and our webinars.